What's up, YouTube? Stu904 again, and um, I'm here just to show you how to pair your Gear S to a non-Samsung phone. A um, couple people were asking me about um, how could I get their Gear S to pair because I made a video how to pair the uh, Gear 2 Neo. So I decided to get myself a Gear S. Um, have it fully paired with my phone. Um, not all functions are fully working. The uh, phone calls work. Somebody calls me, I can call them. Um, contacts. Incoming messages come in, but outgoing messages doesn't seem to work. Um, even though I've checked all the settings to make sure that it does, you know, whenever you text from the watch, it sends the number, it sends the text out from the phone, but for some odd reason, it's not working. But, uh, yeah, but in case you have a non-Samsung phone and you want to pair it up with your uh, Gear S, I'm going to show you the steps that I did to make sure it works. Okay, so first things first, um, once again, your phone does have to be rooted um, in order to do this process. Um, I don't know if you have, I don't know if custom ROMs work for this. Um, I personally have stock ROM, um, so maybe maybe a custom ROM will work. I'm not 100%. Um, so first, let me just uh, go through here and remove all the Samsung stuff. All of the Samsung apps. Um, if you do have the old gear manager on here, um, it will not work. Um, I've tried it multiple times. I tried different ways with the old gear manager, and it just will not. Um, it just will not pair at all. I don't know why, but that's pretty much it. Um, so I'm just gonna remove all these gear apps real quick. Host. Uh, Samsung Gear and System Providers. Oh, and the update gear software. That's been removed as well. Alright, so I have none of the gear apps on my phone. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is you do have to use the, um, you have to change your build prop. Uh, what this does is it basically tricks the watch into thinking you have a Samsung device, even though you don't. Um, the two apps I use, um, like my last video, same ones, build prop, uh, t build prop editor and build prop tweaker Lite. Um, they work really good for me. Um, maybe you want to use a different one, doesn't matter. Um, first thing you want to do, just like the old video, uh, build prop editor. What you're going to do is where the little pencil pad is. You're going to want to copy your old build prop. Um, you know, just hold down anywhere, select all, uh, copy. Um, I personally put mine in my notepad so that I can get right back to it easily um, so after that's set up um, so after you save your old build prop make sure you don't lose it because uh, in case anything goes wrong you want to change it back the way it was so we're going to go to build prop tweaker and there's three things you need to change on this so that the um, watch will install all the stuff so you're going to type in row, so ro dot product. You don't have to type the whole word, just maybe two or three letters. Uh, there's three, thing, three things on here you need to change. Um, I've already changed them on mine, but I'm going to go ahead and point them out to you. Uh, row product manufacturer has to be Samsung. Row product model has to be GT-I9500. And the row product brand. It must be Samsung as well. Um, just tap on it, put in Samsung, hit apply. You know, it applies changes. <coughs> um, then you type in the next one, road product. Uh, the road product model GT I9500, same thing. Apply, same thing for the manufacturer. 
Um, I will put these in the description so you're not changing the wrong thing. Um, so once all that's done, just restart the phone. I'm just going to wait for it to restart. Alright, now that my phone's restarted, uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to install the new gear manager. Um, I'll put the link in the description so that you can download the gear manager. I'm um, also uh, put a link for the the uh, host manager just in case your host manager is not working. Um, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna download the APK file to your phone. Then you're gonna use a file manager to install it. Um, I personally use Astro. So we're gonna scroll down to it's gonna say like uh, com dot Samsung dot you know a bunch of little words and letters. So we're gonna install this. So once it's installed, open. Then it's gonna download this software. So when you change that build prop, it thinks it has a, it thinks you have a Samsung device, so it's gonna install all the gear manager um, apps for the phone. It's probably about seven or eight apps. Um, so just like I said, just keep hitting install through the whole thing. So module uh, Samsung accessory, so install. System providers. Host manager. Um, now the host manager is going to be um, a little tricky. I'll tell you that part in a minute. So gear plugin. And the Go providers. All right. Once it's all done, it's going to install the software. It's going to try to connect to your gear. Now here's where the host manager problem kicks in. Um, for some reason, when you change that build prop to a Samsung, the host manager does not seem to want to work, and it won't let you, it will not sync with your phone at all. So the way I found out to get around this is to uh, well first turn your Bluetooth off otherwise that's going to keep popping up over and over so what you got to do is um, where you saved your old build prop um, in my case I put mine in my notepad so I'm just going to copy my old build prop back and then we just go to the build prop editor again and then where the little pencil pad is, just delete um, this one, this build prop, because this is the this is basically the Samsung one. So I'm going to remove that and then paste my old one back. So this is my old build prop back. Um, since I have the G3, uh, let me see where it is. Right there, the robot product model uh, back to LG. You know the brands back to LG. So I hit the little save button up top here. Sorry about that. So it saved the build prop. And it's going to restart the phone again. I'm just going to wait for it to restart. And now that my phone's back up and running again, um, it changed back to my old build prop. So what we're going to do is go back to the gear manager again. And we're going to select the gear so that it pairs with it. So pair. So I'll give it a minute. It's right there. It has you to, you know, read the little legal stuff. Understand. Finish. 
retrieving application list. This is basically like if you want, what do you want to have like notifications of going towards the watch. Um, I'll just skip that part for now, so I'll deselect everything. And there you go. It's paired with my watch. The watch is already ready to go. Let me just uh, get through this stupid little tutorial. Like I said, uh, and right now it's paired with it. If I, if I scroll down here, I guess right there, connected to Gear S via Bluetooth. Um, like I said, everything mostly works. Um, music does not work. Um, for some reason, it crashes when you select music. Um, everything on the watch mostly works. You know, the contacts show up. You know, contact shows up. Uh, the phone works. Yeah, I haven't tested for you. I'll call uh, AT&T. So yeah, I made a call on the watch. You know, dials it on the phone. Welcome to AT&T. Um, incoming calls work as well. Um, incoming messages will work. Um, as far as texting out, like I said, I, that doesn't seem to work yet. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to get that part to work. Um, you can change the background um, through the settings on the gear. Uh, the, home, uh, the home screen styler, you can change the background. Um, other than that, I mean, it pretty much works. Just, I mean, I'm still trying to figure it out myself how to get all the other functions to work. Um, as soon as I do, I'll definitely uh, post an update about it. But uh, that's pretty much it, how to pair uh, Gear S with a Nam Samsung phone. Um, I personally have the LG G3, so it worked for the LG. Um, if you tried it and it does work for a different phone, um, post it. I'll put it in the comment section saying that it does work for that phone. Um, any questions you have, I'll try to answer the best I can. And uh, that's pretty much it.